Yeah, yeah. What uh tell me more about like the about the brand, about you know, just about like your uh uh your message. Yeah, man. So I'll try to be as brief as I can. So basically like my identity was like okay, I went to private school like my whole life and and I was a very bad student like behavior wise, yeah. academically and I just wasn't good at any of the stuff in school. I was kicked out of three different schools. I went to five different colleges. Like school was never my thing. Um, but no one ever told me that, like, especially in private school, no one ever told me there was another option. And so I, I literally like one day I just like dropped out of school. I was like, man, I just got to find what I enjoy. And just like, I took a break. I was planning on going back. And I, uh, then I found like martial arts and I uh, started teaching like kids classes. And I started like feeling a sense of fulfillment, like waking up, like loving what I'm doing, like waking up, not dreading, like, you know, going to school and stuff. And, and then all of a sudden, like, I just kept progressing with that. And I was like, man, like, I wish I was having some conversations with some people, like all my friends are way older than me. I'm only 23. And all my friends are a lot older. Um, and I was having all these conversations. I was like, man, I wish I wish someone like me, like kind of knew this knew that there was a way to kind of like divide yourself and and maybe like go try what you love and then find what you love and be able to like spread that with other people. So I was having all these cool conversations with like people like you, man, and like just people around here. And I was like, man, I want to get this on, on a podcast. And so the whole premise of the podcast is like, it's, you know, the divide logo. So it's like dividing yourself from the norm and kind of just like finding your own path and then just being powerful in like the one being that you are and being powerful in like the thing that you love and just kind of having like these conversations, man, these conversations that just get you to think and just get you to, to like look inward and, and try to just find what you love, man. And so that's why you, you fit the mold perfectly. And uh, yeah, so I hope that answers a little bit. Yeah, dude. I love that, man. Like you should, uh, you should save that and, uh, and, and post that on your Instagram. Cause that's like, <laughs> that's a dope mission statement. Uh, and, uh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so funny. Cause I was just journaling, uh, today about how like school and education makes us, makes us have this like really bad relationship with, uh, with learning essentially, mm -hmm. you know, and like, like you're forced to read all these books that you don't want to read and, and like yeah. study the stuff that you don't want to study. And for me, like I got lucky that I had a really cool teacher my last year of college. And uh, he was like, I was just chatting with him. I was like, dude, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. Like I'm, I'm feeling really lost. And he was like, he was like, um, find one book that you're interested in and find one podcast that you're interested in and let that take you from there. Yeah. And like looking back on it, I'm like, Oh, Wow. <laughs> Essentially, I was just like, I learned that like, I could seek out stuff that I wanted to learn, right? Like, yeah. just like you said, like, oh, like, there's this like, whole part of life that's really interesting to me. So let me go like, learn about that and not this stuff that people are forcing. You on. Yeah, man, it's kind of a bummer, too, because that's such a good point. Like, you, and it's one of those things, if like, you're not good at like, the math and the science and the history, it's almost like you're, you're not like, they, they think you're not shit, really, you know, it's like, you're not you're almost labeled it because I was labeled as like, dumb just because I wasn't good at those like core things. And I was like, man, you know, yeah. I wish uh, that I had like somebody to tell me, hey, man, like, you're really good at public speaking, which is something I really like, or you're really good at like, you know, whatever, like, uh, talking to people, or you're really good at, um, you know, individual sports or whatever, the, whatever the case. And so I think that that's, uh, that's such a cool thing. So what book, what's your favorite book and your favorite podcast? I'm super curious. I meant to ask you that actually. Oh, dang. Um, Well, there's this book, there's this book called, I'll give you two books. There's this book called As a Man Thinketh. And um, it's by James Allen. And it's really, really simple. But it's, it's just like, essentially about how our thoughts, um, or how our thoughts are turned into reality, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it's so powerful for, for anyone, but especially like young men like ourselves, where like, you know, if you're in this, like, negative like ah oh, i hate doing this i hate doing this i hate doing this and that's what your reality is going to be you know mm -hmm. um so that really helped me shift my world um and then the alchemist dude like the alchemist is so good for anybody that wants to just like take the journey of, of doing something bigger have you read that no i haven't um my dad's read it and he talks about it a lot and i think we actually we have it um so i'm, I'm probably going to check that out for sure yeah, you should read it, man. You'll, you'll dig it for sure. Um, podcast. I, I love a, a line podcast, Aaron Alexander. Are you familiar with it? I'm not. Yeah. He, he's a, he's a really good dude. And he has, he has on some, uh, 
some really awesome guests and whatnot. So what did yeah. you say his name was? Aaron Alexander. Aaron Alexander. Nice, man. I'll have to check that out. It's almost like that thing. It's uh, like I always think about my dad has a Tony Robbins coach. And then I think about how insightful he is and that like his coaches. And then I think about how insightful Tony Robbins is. And like all these people, all these like coaches have mentors. And so when I see someone like you who's had such a positive impact on, on my like personal development stuff and like just self-development and then you get some of your stuff from different places. It's always cool. Then I'm like, Oh, I got to go check that out. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, absolutely. It's, it's so cool. Cause I have, I have a, I have like a mentor, um, business coach kind of his name's Mike Bledsoe. Actually, he has a great podcast as well. It's called the Bledsoe show. Um, and, and, and yeah, his stuff is like, is, is awesome for, uh, the business minded part of like what we're doing, you know, branding and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, just having guidance, you know, and then I have a coach for, for my physical stuff too. It's like, I never want to be without, without, uh, some type of coach again, you know, like I always want to have some type of mentor there. That's amazing, man. Cause I think people are, are like, so many people always want to feel like they're right and they know everything. And like, when you take that, take that away and realize that there's so much to learn, like you almost close yourself off when you, when you think like that, like I, the best athletes in the world have coaches, like the best business, like Tony Robbins has a freaking, you know, coach. It's, it's, so that's cool to see, man. And, um, I'll probably, th you know, just throw this stuff in here as a, as a bonus. Cause I think it's all important stuff too. But that's, that's cool to hear that you have, I mean, look, you're at like such a high level with your movement, your physical, and you have a coach for that and you have a mentor and stuff. So, uh, you know, that's, that's definitely cool to see. I'm not surprised, but. Hell yeah, dude. Li I mean, life is, life is being in the learning process. And once you take yourself out of that, that I think that's when you get stuck, you know? So, um, yeah, like, that's the, that's the process. And I, and I want to keep living in the process. Dude, I love it, man. Was there anything else to be missed by the way that you wanted to touch on that, that we missed? No, no, I got to share a lot of what, <laughs> what's been on my mind actually. So I really appreciate that. Oh dude, I'm so pumped, man. I'm going to, uh, I teach tonight, but I'm going to edit this up tonight and tomorrow and we'll get it out Thursday or Friday. So I'll keep you updated, man. Um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm mad excited for this one. Dope, dude. Uh, I will add one thing, actually, yes. because I think I, I think this is like, I think this is such. So this is like really important advice for any guy who identifies with like thinking they know everything and like being really uh, stuck in like this hyper masculinity is is dance like dance will humble the shit out of you. Right. Like, especially if you're like dance. Yeah, right. I don't dance do it like that's gonna open yourself up like we talked about like how do you get like how do you get past like conformity you know like how do you get past like uh what society's put on you and dance can be a really really helpful one uh and you're gonna feel like embarrassed it's just like a cold plunge like you feel those feelings of like Ugh! but then if you can re <laughs> if you can relax into it that's where a lot of the juice is Ooh, dude, that's, that's something I'm all about trying new stuff dances. I've always been scared, which is probably a good sign that I should try it. So that's good advice for anybody listening. What, do, what <laughs> dance do you take? Uh, well, so like my experience with, with Capoeira, that was like, it, it's very rhythmic, you know? So right. that was, that was kind of my intro into like, oh, wow. Like I have this, this rhythm in me. I've just been scared to show it. Um, and then, you know, I don't know if you've heard of it, ecstatic dance, but it's just essentially like, it's like a club during the day, you know, they'll be like in the mornings or whatever. And you just go dance how, how you feel. And, uh, there'll be, <laughs> I mean, at least every ecstatic dance I've been to, there's people doing crazy stuff and you know, like you're not being judged because everybody's being weird. So it's, it's a good way to like, let yourself go a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. That's sweet. Yeah. No, I'm, glad, I'm glad you added that in. I'll go ahead and throw that stuff in. Maybe we'll do like a little bonus clip on YouTube or something too. So sweet, man. Awesome, brother. Hey man, I appreciate it. I'm gonna let you go. Cause I want to be respectful of your time, but dude, again, it means so much, man. Been a, been a huge fan for a while. So I'm glad it got the, uh, you know, personal connection now, man. It means a lot. Absolutely, dude. I'd love to stay in touch. So anytime, hit me up. That means a lot, Josh. I'll talk to you soon, man. Have fun in Colorado, bro. All right, Tommy. Thanks, bro. Take it easy.